Hi guys. So I've just got back from work. Uh, I've received all the bits that I need to um, connect the TF328 to the riser. I've got this riser from Edu in Spain. It's come during the week. The people that say about these drives that spin backwards. Now I noticed it's not actually a problem with the drive because this does it. Um, I think I've seen it do it before and it's something to do with the shield um, people were saying if they didn't have if they don't have the shield in it spins backwards if they have the shield in it doesn't spin backwards so bear that in mind but this is also spun backwards for me and apparently something to do with interference um, I'm not quite sure how I solved it. I know I've moved this cable a couple of times in various places and I've sort of kept this away from the shield. I might put a bit of tape along here just underneath this on the shield just to pad it out a bit more, stop a bit more interference. But I noticed if I altered and kept this off the shield, it didn't spin backwards. So... Yeah, before you start chucking your lasers or drives away or spending loads of money on another drive, just undo it and keep it off probably about that much. Put a disc in and hold the drive shut and see if it works. Um, because I'm convinced it's not it's not a it's not an F drive, it's just I think it's just a coincidence that when you put it back together it's picking up that interference. Anyway, gone off off topic, but I thought I'd chuck a few more bits in because you know there's so much info out there. Um, I might as well get it all in one video because whoever's going to do this, you're going to need to take it apart anyway. Um, I know they haven't said, but if you look under there, there's header pins for this. So this is just a JTAG port. I don't need it because um, Steve uh, kindly flashed it before I got this. But I've noticed if you've got the, like I say, if you've got the shield, they're literally probably half a millimetre away from the shield. And you don't want that earthing out. And possibly the IDE. You've got the IDE pins there. So I'm just going to put a load of insulation tape along this point. Okay, so um, I'm just going to do this side and just uh, put a bit of tape along here, see if it stops a bit more interference. And um, I mean, I've stopped it uh, spinning backwards, but you don't want it to keep doing it. So uh, lasers are pretty good. Um, I bought two lasers. I think those about ten or each. They're quite straightforward. There's a nice guide as well. I'll, I'll put down there if you want to change a laser. Stick down here somewhere. Um, it really easy. I didn't have to tweak. There's a little... Um, actually, yeah, I did tell a lie. There's a little tiny little orange screw there. And you can tweak it just a little bit to read CDRs. Or um, I found that if I tweak that too much... That also caused my CD to spin backwards. Uh, I'm not too sure what it does, but yeah, bear that in mind too. I wouldn't. Um, I think there's an adjustment. Yeah, there's two, there's uh, two or three adjusters in here, but I've been advised not to touch them, even though there's a document out there. No, uh, see, there's no. No, it's not going to earth out there. That's probably enough to stick it, but it's this side. There's, there's nothing metal there. Yeah, it's going to miss, but I'm going to put a bit of insulation tape along there, just in case. You've got the board up there um, for all the lights and volume and uh, playback, like the headphone socket. But... And again, everything's 100% reversible. I'll just double check that's not touching anything. Nah, it's fine. 
But remember, when you do remove this, just hold it with two fingers. Right. Fire it up. Let's see if that CD spins backwards first as well. You try and get a shot of the window so you can have a look. I might be wrong. Let's see if this spins backwards. No. See again, it might be just um, it might be just where um, I've moved that cable and I've put that extra tape on it. If you've got this CD, this is a good test. I'll I'll say why in a minute. I'll let you watch. I'll let you watch this bit first. Right, now when I first installed the laser, that would stutter. So a little tweak, and I mean it's literally a gnat's knacker. A little tweak on that on that orange knob one way or the other. Um, try a CDR if it reads it, brilliant. You're probably on the right road, but you know, if it still doesn't play video right, you either need to back off or go forward a little bit, and I mean, micrometers um, but yeah I mean even this used to um, this used to stutter as well this is the original CD32 ad we, here in, we had here in the UK Hmm. And there's that shitty controller. <laughs> uh, funny, isn't it? Right. This is no ordinary CD. It's a meager CD magazine. Number one was a world first. This one's even better. With editorial, film and music, demo games, free games, art. And don't forget the credits. And the credits. What else could you want? The world's first totally interactive CD magazine. And don't forget the credits. And don't forget the credits. Hmm. Gotta love it. So yeah, um, oh, I'm not sure if I can work, uh, load up Workbench on it just to see if it... Um, no, I don't think I can. Just just to see if the 8 meg of RAM's found. But um, I'll, that's alright, I'll format the hard drive. I'll put it back in. I'll get Workbench going and... I'll just make sure it all works and we'll probably call it a day. Hi guys, this is the next day. Um, it took a while for me to uh, sort the hard drive out on this. I was getting an insert DF0 um, request to come up. I'm still got to work out uh, what that is, but um, it's booting and whatnot now. I think it was just partition funny. Um, Plus my card reader, the CF card reader, was not um, communicating with the laptop properly. Um, if you get problems like that and it's, it's giving you corrupt sectors and saying that your CF card's corrupt, change your card reader because um, on the couple of forums people have been getting the same thing as well. Um, and as soon as I changed it over I had no problem. Uh, on this one, there's an LED. I'm probably going to run a um, an LED from this on the just on the bottom there on the green PCB. You can see a little red LED. I'm probably going to run an LED somewhere, maybe just under the case, under that bit, just so it shines through the top. So again, I'm not interfering with the casing. So Workbench is running, I'm getting a full 8 meg of RAM. That's fine, CD's running. Uh, the drives are partition right. Let me just stick this on a tripod, it'll be two seconds. I gather a meg of my fast RAM is missing because this is a OS 3.5.
Yeah. Right, anyway. I'll leave you guys to it. Thanks a lot.